in arrivo, you're wanted at the town hall. Don't be late. Salvatore Civinini. Next time you're late with your taxes, you'll be fine. Peppino Arrigo. Peppino Arrigo. Where she got to? Here I am. Ah, there you are. Don't forget, your taxes for Violetta are due next week. Taxes, taxes. If it isn't one thing, it's another. Hey! You're going to get us into a lot of trouble. The education officer from Perugia was here, yeah. and he wanted That's to know... That's all right. Father D'Amico's taking care of his schooling. But the law says... The law says all sorts of things. Peppino? Seen one of these before? Is it old? About 800 years. Where did you find them? The monastery of St. Francis, we're repairing the foundation of one of the staircases. Who's the contractor? Signor Strotti. He sent you with them? Yes. Then they can't be worth much. Violetta! <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. Don't you know that he's stealing? We are in enough trouble already. We've got to work hard today. They're after me to go to school. Now they've made us late for the market. Come on. And don't forget to smile. <laughs> That's mine. She's a pretty donkey, that's easy. Oh, come along then. My wife is waiting. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Peppino. Don't be late this evening. It's market day, Father. I know, quick as you can. Don't forget your books. No. Good morning, Good morning Father. Good morning. A dumb little fellow. A businessman at seven. Comes from a farming family down south. His home was blown up and his people all killed. American corporal found him in the barn with a donkey. Came up here with the American army. Did you know, Violetta, the Signora will pay the hundred lire? What? To my place. Fifty souls she'll get. I'm sure the Signora will give you some ninety, Violetta. Don't you believe it? There'll be others who are willing to do it for fifty. But they're just ordinary donkeys. What is special about you? She's got a small. But she's willing, and she has a lovely smile. Violetta, smile at the lady who's going to pay 75 lira. Oh, you can't tell me that donkey smile. She's famous for her smile. Look, really believe she's smiling. Give him 75 lira. What? All right. Thank you, signore. Thank you, signora.
Quick, it's Mrs. Turkey. Peppino! Hi, stop there! I'm on a job! I can see that. When you finish, get down to the station and collect two cases. They're statuettes of St. Francis. If the statues of St. Francis, Violetta, we'd better do it. Even in advance! My husband will take care of that. But it's in Paris, the last time. Now, none of your cheek. Get along. Peppino, but they say the treasure of St. Francis is buried near here. Where? Somewhere up by the old entrance to the tomb of St. Francis, which was walled up in my grandfather's time. Well, if he's right, Peppino, and we find it, we'll give you a diamond necklace for Violetta. It will suit her better than Mrs. Totti. Hey, look out! I'm working hard this morning, I see. I thought you were collecting my cases. I am. Well. Now! You'll be telling me that donkey of yours is doing the job for you. She is! The coins were of interest, but of no oh, value. Lord's father's superior. That's what I taught myself. But I'm always hoping one day we may hit upon the treasure of St. Francis. Do you believe that the saint who was known as a little poor man could leave an earthly treasure? There are many of us who still do, Father. <laughs> Tell me your work. I'll have your license taken away. Well, the job's done. Two hundred lira, please. Don't be ridiculous. But two hundred is a proper price. Here's fifty. Now, get out. I said they cheat us, Violeta. You'll break them. I'll teach you to break my things. Don't you do that, Violeta! No! No! Ah, go away. Signor Peppino, tonight the roads are all together too unsteady. You don't want Elisabetta to give you another black eye? Come on, I'll take you home on Violetta. Violetta? <laughs> A lovely young lady to see me home. Come on, up on your feet. La notte is good. It will cost you 200 lira. What else? Keep the change. That too much. Wonder Huh? I said keep it. What? Come on, Violeta. Oh, 
It's Angelica. But what is it? It's Angelica. I think she had an accident. Anyway, she's sick, and her hind legs won't work anymore. Oh, I hope she gets better soon. Good night. Good night. Forget you. You are a good girl today, Violetta. so we can open the parcel. I wonder what's in it this time.
tell you. He's your favorite candy. Wait. Yes, when you didn't come for your lesson, I thought I'd better look in on you. I meant to come, Father. You ought to be careful about going to sleep with that lamp burning. From your friend, Gobbalo, Helen? Yes. What happened to your arm? Nothing. Someone did that to you? You've been fighting again, Peppino. Come here. Easy. It's nothing serious. You could do with a wash, you know. I see you looked after Violetta. And how's business today? Oh, we had a good day. And Father. Hmm? Hey, one is nice. It's two years since he went away and he still remembers you. He's a good man, your friend, O'Halloran. And he has a photo, too. Look, there he is, and that's his wife. There's a message on the back, but he didn't write very clear, you know. Perhaps you do not read very clear, you know. I tell you what we'll do, we'll try. We'll make this your lesson for tonight, hmm? Now. Hello, Peppino. What do you know? I and am now, now a... Uh, a papa! papa. <laughs> I have a little boy. A little boy. How is my sweetheart? Violetta, Violetta. And my kind regard to Father Amico. Don't forget what I told you. Keep your nose clean, do a day's work, and never take no for an answer. From your old friend, Corporal Francis Xavier O'Halloran, formerly Corporal USAAF. That's good advice, eh, Father? Yes. For a young fellow like you, who wants to get on in the world. And I think Coppolo Halloran would like you to use this soap in the morning. And don't forget, Pepino, tomorrow we're all going to make our pilgrimage to St. Francis. Good night. I have a job in the morning, early. Please, Father, couldn't you leave just a little later? We'll wait for you. Good night. Good night. Night. <laughs> Are we all here? Ah, the B note. Does anyone know why each year we meet here outside the Church of San Rafino? Yes, sir, because St. Francis was christened there in the Church of San Rafino. And secondly, because nothing here has changed very much since the time of St. Francis. More than 700 years ago, he stood by this fountain on a bitterly cold day in winter and gave his only cloak to a beggar. You see, St. Francis believed that true giving was to give what you needed most to someone who needed it more. Here in our town, it is almost as though he were still with us, as though at any moment we might see him striding through the streets singing. And so, in case we shall meet him, let us sing a song on our way to the cathedral that bears his name. Non ti scordare di me, che la bianca stella alpina. Now, children, before we go into the cathedral where St. Francis is laid to rest, what can you tell me about him? He loved yes, us! That's right. And they loved him. He even preached a sermon to them. Now, what else? He loved flowers. Yes, he did. He loved everything that grew. He loved animals. Yes, he loved all God's creatures. And did he love kittens too? Indeed he did, Jenny. And what about donkeys? Did he love donkeys? 
I'll show you. Pepino, here is in Francis with the Go and look.
night a sutina. Good night, Madalena. Good night. Good night. <coughs> this one. That committee would be good for a... Uh, well, for anybody. Why, yes. I have two bottles. Two bottles. What do you want all that for? It's for Violetta. She has a bad cough. Your little sister? Is she in bed? No. That's my donkey. Do you think we'll be all right, Jacob? A donkey? <laughs> well, I sell gallows of this stuff to dozens of donkeys every week. And it doesn't seem to do them any harm. Now, if this young lady... This, uh... Violetta. ...doesn't respond to treatment, I suggest you take her along to Dr. Bartolo, the veterinary. Thank you. I've got some very good stuff here, Violetta. You see, you're going to like this. Violetta, please, you must take it. It'll do you good. Peppino, Peppino, open the door. Peppino. Shh, quiet. Violetta is sick. She got a cough. I gave her some medicine. I wanted to go to sleep. Oh. My mother wants some firewood tomorrow. I'll help you cut it. All right, if your aunt is better. My kittens are a lot better. St. Francis cured her. Can she use her hind legs again? Well, not exactly. But she can drink milk again. Oh, really? Yes. Goodbye, Peppino. Good night, Johnny. Good night.
this? What goes on here? What do you mean by waking me up in the middle of the night, my sweet? Please come down. serious than I expected. I, I, I don't like it. No, not at all. But what is it? What's the matter with it? Can't you make a well? There was a similar case in Foligno last week and another in Perugia. The pathologists are still examining the remains in an effort to discover the cause of infection. Well, I have done the best I can for her. I've given her something to help her breathe and ease her pain. Let her rest there. Light diet. And if God wills, she may live. But you must cure her. You must make a well. She may go on till the end of the week. And then, poor thing, we must hope there will be an end to her suffering. Well, good night, young man. Don't take it to heart. Remember, there are lots of other little donkeys in the world. Good night. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Violetta. I know what to do. Tomorrow I'll take you to St. Francis. He'll make you better. I know he will. Now you must go to sleep. Yes, yes, what do you want? What are you doing with that donkey blocking the entrance to the door? Can't you see that people want to go into the church? Please, Father, that's what I want to speak to you about. The letter is sick. Dr. Bartolo says she's going to die. Could I take her on to St. Francis and ask him to make her better? What? You want to take a donkey into the pit to St. Francis? Don't you know it's forbidden to take animals into the church? As for the holy tomb, I've never heard of such a thing. The St. Francis love donkeys, and I'm sure St. Francis will love your letter and make her better, if he, if he could just see her smile. Now stop talking nonsense and move away from here. Animals are not allowed in the church, and that's final. Now, go away, please. No, I'm afraid not. If the brother told you that it was not permitted to take animals into the church, that would seem to be the end of it. No, not for me. Oh, and why not? Because of what Coppola Halloran told me. What was that? He told me to never take no for an answer. And if I don't take Violeta down to St. Francis, I'm sure she will die. <sighs> Who is about the brother of Tudor? The Father Superior. Could I go and ask him? There's nothing to stop you.
You wish to see me, my child? Are you the father superior? Yes. Well, what is it? It's about Violetta. That's my donkey. She's terribly ill. Dr. Bartol says she may die. Could I take her down to the tomb of St. Francis? He loves little donkeys. I know he will make her well. A donkey? In the crypt? Well, well when someone I know can choose the back legs, just... Well, there is this person, took it to St. Francis and asked him to cure. And he got better. Well, almost. Really? And how did this someone you know succeed in smuggling a kitten into the crypt? Under his shirt. Well, you can't smuggle Violetta in under your shirt. My child, don't you see that even if I were to permit it, you could never get a donkey down into the tomb. The stairs are so narrow, and there is a sharp bend. So you see, the whole thing is quite impossible. But there is another way to the tomb. What other way? The old passage from the cloister. But that was walled out 150 years ago. But couldn't they knock down the wall? What? Tear down church property? No, no, my child. Go home. And pray to St. Francis. If you open your heart to him, he will hear you. But that isn't the same. I might have St. Francis can't see her. She doesn't like any other donkey. She has a lovely smile. I'm sorry, my child. But she will die. That will be as God wills. Yes, Peppino, what is it? Father, please, you must tell me who is above the Father Superior. Father General of the Order. And who is above the Father General? The Holy See. And above the Holy See? The Holy Father himself. Listen, Peppino, they're all good men, and I'm sure their hearts would be touched by your wish to save Violetta through the aid of St. Francis. But. They're all very busy with the great affairs of the church, and it would be quite impossible for you to see them. Just to handle Lila for her food. Take care of her. I promise. Feed and water her in the morning and evening. Yes. Give her the pills three times a day. Yes. Keep her straw clean and dry. Wash out her nose and mouth with a sponge. Yes. You showed me how, Peppino. And talk to her sometimes. Talk to her and stroke her when you have time. She likes that. 
I'll do all that, Peppino. Swear? I swear. Swear by St. Francis and the hind legs of your kitten. But, Peppino, I don't need to. I love Violetta, too. Then I can go. Him? He won't be here today. But I must see him at once. Then you must go to the Vatican. Oh, Vatican. Thank you, Father. about my donkey Violetta, who is ill in Assisi. Now listen, son. Do you think His Holiness has nothing better to do than to waste his time talking to little boys? Now, right along. But if I can only tell him about Violetta, I'm friend of Father D'Amico's. I don't know who your Father D'Amico is, but I do know it's impossible for you to see the Holy Father. Now, run along, eh, son? No.
Now what do you think you are up to? I want to see the Pope. Well, that's not the way to go about it. But I must talk to him. So, you want to talk to him, eh? Well, you are out of luck. People ask permission and then wait for months and months for an audience. Now get away from here. But couldn't I, if it's for a very special reason? No. Spring flowers. If you really want them very much, you can have them for a hundred. Thank you, Signor. Thank you, Signor. for me. I know he will see me when he gets them and read what I've written to him. What are you doing with those flowers? I was told to get rid of them. You don't throw them away. Give them to me. Very well, Father. And I'm to tell them at the bronze door that Father Ray will be with your party tomorrow. Thanks very much. Let us know what's written on the card with those flowers. Indeed, I will. Dear Holy Father, Please let me see you and tell you about my donkey Violetta who is dying. I want to take her to the tomb of St. Francis so that he may cure her. I've come all the way from Assisi to see you. These flowers are for you, your loving Papino. Where is Father O'Brien? He should be here by now.
Ah, there you are at last, Father O'Brien. Good morning, Father. Well, come on, come on in. Have you got that list of names for the audience? Oh, yes, of course, Father. I thought perhaps you might like to see this little boy. I'm afraid I have no time at the moment, Father. Could I have that list? Very well, then, Father. Here we are, Father. Oh, no. Yes, that's it, Father. Thank you. That's all. Well, is it? That little bunch of flowers, Father. I put them just there. What? In the basket? Really, Father? Those letters were for Monsignor's signature. What will His Excellency think? Last, Monsignor Magana. Oh, and this note, too, please. Monsignor Magana sends his compliments. Very touching. But I'm afraid there will be no opportunity of bringing this to the notice of His uh, Holiness today. Thank you. No use waiting. But I must see the phone. Go away now. You again? You can't wait here. You can't see the Pope. It's absurd. It's impossible. Now, get away from here. Any message for me from the Pope? 
No, and there won't be. How strange. Look, the boy's crying. I rather think it's the flowers that are weeping. What is this? And how, I wonder, did it get there? But this is extraordinary and very touching. I will see if I can take this to His Holiness myself. Never take no for an answer. The museum closes in half an hour. What? The museum closes in half an hour. No charge for the child, madam. What? No charge for the child, madam. Well, what are you doing? You can't wander around here by yourself. I'm with them. Well, run along and join them.
Do we see the rooms where the Holy Father lives? Oh, no. You're not allowed in there. Do we go near them? Yes, you'll pass right by them. Now, run along. Thank you. that you see were executed by Raphael and his pupils between the years of 1514 and 1517. And now we pass into the Constantine room, so-called in honor of Constantine the Great, the first Roman emperor who became a Christian. It contains the largest painting in the world of a battle. It is the Battle of Saxa Rugra, fought in 312 AD, in which Constantine defeated Maxentius. is known as the Raphael Loggia and was designed by Raphael himself. Grossi courtyard of San Damaso are the windows of the private apartments of His Holiness the Pope, which can be reached through this door. We are now going to the Stanza Greca, or Greek sculpture room, so-called because it is shaped like a Greek cross. Uh, we must hurry, please, as there is no much time left. I wish to find a little boy he called Peppino. Yes, that's right. Heingarten. Yes, Sergeant. Do you know anything of a little boy called Peppino? Yes, Sergeant. I know him. I believe he was waiting at the bronze doors. Well, is he still there? No, Sergeant. I chased him off. I told him if he ever came around here again, I'd hand him over to the police. Oh, you did? Well, that's a pity. It happens that the Holy Father wishes to see him. The Holy Father? In this gallery, we have the resting form by Praxiteles, Eros, God of Love, the other part of a triton by Scopas, and Lizard Apollo by Praxiteles. The highest quality of the
your name? Peppino. Ah, Peppino. Changa. Where have you been? You're just the fellow we have been looking for. You're coming with me. The Holy Father wishes to see you. There you are. I knew he did. She's not better, but she's not worse. Father D'Amico and I brought her in here because it's warmer. And I thought she'd like the company. <laughs> did you see him? Yes. Well, what did you say to him? I told him about Violetta. And I told him about St. Francis. And the Holy Father said he knew about St. Francis. He did? And did he say anything else? He said he thought Coppola Halloran must be a good man. And then he told someone to write a letter, and they gave me this. is waiting for you. Please, try. When you go to see St. Francis, Violetta, you must smile. Promise me your smile. Oh, Father. Good morning, Babino. We're nearly ready. The Father Superior did get the letter. Yes, I took it to him myself. And the wall will be taken down? Yes, otherwise I wouldn't have come to fetch you. Then nothing can go wrong now. Listen to me, Peppino. Because you loved Violetta and wanted so much to save her, you took on a task that seemed impossible. But with faith such as yours, simple faith that knows of no doubts, all things are possible. And you can now take Violetta into the crypt, into your friends in Francis. And you will pray and you believe that he will hear you and intercede for you, and that she'll be made well again. Oh, yes, Father. But, Pepino, have you thought that St. Francis, who cared so dearly for all God's creatures, 
might come to love Violetta so much that he might wish to have her near him for all eternity. No! I didn't go all the way to see the Pope just so St. Francis could take her. He wouldn't do that. St. Francis can't have her. I won't let him. Pino, think. Will you go into your friend St. Francis only to ask? Or if must, will you be prepared to give? No, he can't have her. But, oh, I hope you will let us stay with me. The Holy Father has seen fit your lovers St. Francis, and we, the servants, welcome you. Violetta. Good morning, Father Superior. Good morning. Good morning. Go in, my child. of St. Francis, the poorest and yet the richest man that ever lived. A length of cord to teach us to be humble, an ear of wheat and a spring flower that tell us of the riches and the beauty of the earth, a feather to remind us of the birds that lift our spirits on their wings and carry us to heaven. Day they return to dust. Father, please, may I take Violetta in now? Yes, my child, and may God go with you. Did you notice? It seemed to me as they went in that the little donkey smiled. <laughs> 